Next, we're going to be going through the manual muscle test for subscapularis. Now, I have him in a prone position now, um, and the reason being for that is the active component is typically as much as we can done against gravity. So with a person in supine, you would not be acting against gravity. So instead, I have my individual in prone. So this is going to be the very same test as Terry's major is for this component. So with his arm hanging off the table, I'm going to reach underneath, putting my arm and kind of holding on to his humerus, and I'm going to ask my person to go through medial rotation, which is the action of subscapularis. So whenever he's ready, can you please go through that for me? Excellent. So medial rotation of the arm of the glenohumeral joint for the active. I'm going to bring him about halfway through that action, again pushing on the radius and ulna and not so much on his wrist or his hand. I'm going to say, please do not let me move you from this position as I pull down against that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great. And then starting from the kind of neutral hanging down position, go ahead and pull your arm all the way through that for the concentric component of it. Great. I'm going to be switching my hands and we're going to be moving on to the length assessment part. So this is again very similar to Terry's major, but I'm going to grab his radius and his ulna and slowly bring him up into external rotation or lateral rotation and see how far I can get before that scapula or the whole kind of humeral joint wants to lift up. So subscapularis length is going to be full external rotation at the glenohumeral joint. And that concludes all of the components for the muscle subscapularis.